How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today we're going to be playing the fifth and final mission in the Saladin's Conquest mini campaign in Stronghold Crusader HD called Jerusalem Retaking the Holy City. Having decimated the Europeans' main force and capturing or killing many of their figureheads, Saladin arrives at Jerusalem. He pauses, taking time to plan the siege. This is the final assault. Jerusalem's best defense are its immense city walls, the weakest point being the northeast section. Once the walls have been broken down, the Europeans are likely to surrender. Okay, let's get started. No time limitation, just eliminate all the enemy units. So I'm going to want to pause the game here and get my troops into position a little bit. Um, so... In this episode, we're first introduced to the pretty much overpowered Fire Ballista. It's insane how much damage they can do, uh, given how much they cost, really. So, then, yeah, we have some other troops here. The, the Swordsmen, the Arabian Swordsmen, and the Assassins are going to be on the front lines. And um, I think we'll just try to keep the Fire Throwers out of it altogether. They're just going to cause more trouble than they're worth. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. Get everything moving. Might want to spread these swordsmen out a little bit more. Maybe over there. I don't remember the exact placement that I had for the ballistas. And then they're all going over there. Okay, yeah, well. Um, it's one of those things. Let's get these uh, Arabian swordsmen to the front again. To the fore. I, I don't like the fact that the assassins are going to be taking the brunt here. Oh, here we got. We got some coming. Got knights incoming, boys. Okay. All these units are uh, defensive, right? Yeah. Hopefully they don't kill my ballistas. Look at all those knights. Yeah, we got our work cut out for us. Pro strats, yo. Still not sure what I want to do with the fire throwers. Do I want to try to... I, I just don't think they're going to be useful. That's my opinion. Okay, let's speed this up. Hopefully, hopefully we don't lose any fire ballistas with all these knights coming in. Thankfully, they attack in short bursts, so we don't have the whole thing uh, crowding and overwhelming us, basically. That's, still, that's a lot. That's a lot of knights. Yeah, uh, basically our fire ballistas are doing all the damage here, aside from the ones uh, that the swordsmen kill, because... Arrows aren't good against knights, you know? I definitely found this to be one of the more interesting scenario setups, where you basically had all these knights coming at you. is one of the more unique ones, and certainly memorable. We got some more knights coming at us, this time from Jerusalem itself. We'll look at all those knights, wow. I wonder if this is going to be a problem. Fire blisters are amazingly accurate. You may have, not, may have noticed, or you may have not noticed, but yeah. If you are looking for a unit to counter pretty much anything, uh, Fire Ballistas are certainly in the running for that. In my opinion, it's overpowered, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Like, instead of going for crossbows during the early game, quite frequently, I'll just go ahead and take Fire Ballistas. Build up some Fire Ballistas, have some portable shields around them. Everything's good. The danger, of course, is um, if you have melee units that get too close to them. They can certainly take them all out versus having a crossbowman in the keep, for example. So there's a time and a place for that kind of stuff, but in general, I just think uh, Fire Ballist is a deal. They're much much more accurate, which is always a big thing. And they deal more damage. Like, it can rip a, a pikeman right down to the ground. We're still waiting for these knights over here to go through. Okay, there they take off. Overall, uh, I think we're doing pretty good here. Still have a lot of the troops that I started out with. I didn't, uh, oh boy, that's all of them now, isn't it? I didn't really make a note of the numbers when I first started here. I think I just lost something important though. I think I might have lost the ballista there. That was a lot of knights though. And that should take care of it. So now, actually, all we have to do is get these. 
get these guys off the walls here. Hmm. We don't have any portable shields, so I'm a little bit curious as to which way I should approach this from. You know, I have so, so many assassins. I, I could probably just swamp the walls over there. <sighs> I don't know. Should I go for that? Really didn't think past this part, as it turns out. But uh, yeah, which wall do we want to approach from? Because we can use the ballista to help clear the wall off. Maybe we want to just approach straight from the gate. I mean, sure, the ballistas will take some damage, but seven should be able to clear the, fa the face of that off the gatehouse anyway, right? I don't know if we want to bring our archers along. I sort of want to save those until they actually, um, stop. Kind of wanted to save the archers. Okay, they're taking those archers out of the towers, and there go the crossbowmen too. Okay, excellent. Not too much damage was done. Yeah, I was going to say, I wanted to save my archers until they can actually get on towers and stuff, so they actually have some defense, basically. Uh, so that, that was an easy one, because the gatehouse is relatively low. They don't have the height advantage. I'm not exactly sure. I forget, can... Can't fire ballistas take them out? of these taller towers. Let's let's see. You never know if we don't go, right? I'm not um I'm not really up on the latest stuff here. Okay, can they can they hit the bosses? The great thing about the crossbowmen, I'm pretty sure they deal about the same amount of damage against um I mean uh yeah fire ballistas. Oh dear. Can you can you shoot these guys? Yeah they can shoot them. Ripping right through them. Uh, yeah, so the great thing about crossbow and we set the fire the city on fire, but the the well workers are going to put it up. Um, keep getting interrupted in my thought here. Uh, the great thing about crossbowmen versus like archers is they shoot really slow. So while they're good against um, armored units, they're really crap against uh, like siege equipment. Uh, we have fifteen Arabian swordsmen. Some of them have very low health. If we can get the city on fire, that would be really nice. I think we want to do uh, use assassins to do that. And they also took out the... Um, I wonder if we can actually bait those basement out. They also took out that swordsman that was wandering the walls with a, the fire ballistas. So that was really nice. Um, there aren't any crossbowmen in the keep, so all the archers are pretty much removed. I'm not sure I want to use slaves to try to bait them. No. I could try to tear the gate down. I kind of want those basemen to come tearing out of there. Maybe we can do that as a side project. I'll just tell them to target the gatehouse. Yeah, you can you can bring down gatehouses with slaves. I've mentioned this in past episodes. Uh, so one of the things we could do here is send the assassins over to try to take care of those archers. Might might not be a bad idea. We only have twelve though. It's not that great. I want to get these. Arabian Swordsmen by the Ballistas again. Uh, the Macemen are pretty fast, by the way. So, if we don't run the minute the gate's down, there's a good chance that they'll get killed by the Macemen. I, I just, I'm not sure how else I want to do this. Because I think I can sneak in there with the Assassins before taking the Archers out and target the Water Pots. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Bring it down. I'm ready. Go. I don't know how the. I don't think I thought this through. I don't think I thought this through. This could be bad. And it's fine. Okay. Great. So there's also some macemen up there along with the. Uh, hmm. I could, I could probably use the ballistas to take the water pots out. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that. Let's try it with uh, an assassin once. Just to see. Uh, no, that's not going to work. The towers are not cleared out yet. Okay, we need to clear clear these towers out. How am I going to do this? What would be the best way to do this? I have no idea why they gave me fire throwers. That's just going to be a waste. Whew. Taking out these towers. Wow, I'm really having a hang-up here because there are just so many archers there, basically. I guess we're going to sacrifice our fire blesses. We have, we have quite a few of them left. So uh, this taking out this tower in particular... It's going to be a bit challenging. It's going. To, I think I'm going to take a lot of damage from it. Those archers, they have a long range. They're on a nice tall tower. And basically, 
there are a lot of them that are going to be able to shoot at me right away. Can I shoot at them right now? Okay. Let's see if they can target them. Yes, they can. Okay. Good. Start taking those archers out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are missing, but enough of them are hitting. Okay. And this, this is looking better than I thought. Like, I thought I was going to have to send some assassins up to deal with that, but no. And, yeah. Got some archers over here. Yeah, so like I say, like I say, Fire Ballista's OP. I think we'll take those crossbowmen out with the assassins, though. So that's a thing. Can they get up on the walls without causing a scene? I have no idea. They're going to be stupid about it, though. They're going to climb the stairs. That's always good to see. They have they have their little their little grappling hooks, and they still choose to climb the stairs. See, I should have timed this better. Oh, maybe they'll take that. Uh, maybe the fireball still take that sword. No, it's not going to take the sword. No, who am I kidding? Ooh, no. Jump off the walls, guys. Do not intercept these swordsmen. We need to get these archers out of this tower over here. Yeah. No. Go out, Go outside. Stay out there. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. <sighs> we got a whole bunch of swordsmen. Go! No! No! This is not good. Damn it. Stupid, stupid assassins, man. They should have just jumped off the wall there. Instead, they go down the stairs. Oh my god. That is so bad. I really do hate assassins. The mechanics behind them are just so wonky in this game. They shouldn't be, but they are. Okay. Since you're almost dead anyway, let's take out this water pot. How about that? I should just be moving my uh, fire ballistas into position. Oh yeah, it has to stop and kill every baker along the way. Just to make sure he'll take as long in getting there as possible. Wonderful. Okay, take out this water pot. Do you think that he'll get killed? Yeah, he will. Macemen are going to bash him. Oh my goodness. Let's get these Arabian swordsmen moving in. And... What are we going to use? I think we're just going to use another assassin. What's left of them? Still got five left. Two of them should be able to take out a fire pot, or a water pot, before the Macemen get out of the keep, right? Water pots have pretty, pretty low health. Overall, you're gonna stop there. Fight the, uh, fight the blacksmith. Always good to see it. You idiots! Kill the water pot guys. There. Okay. They were sacrificed in the line of duty. I'm a little bit worried. If I light this stuff on fire now, I'm going to light my own army on fire, basically. Okay, so we got one one water pot left. It looks like, and we got three assassins left. I thought they were going to climb the wall there for a second. In terms of um, terrible pathfinding prioritization. It's just something I've come to accept with these guys. Doesn't make me any less salty, though, when they actually execute it. Let's go up here. I just wanted to see the city burn, you know? I'm like that. Okay, coming in here from the north, and... Get that water pot. Get it. Hit it. Kill all everything of the well workers, of course. Can't let them live while the water pot's still standing. Okay, that should take care of everything there. Well, let's light some stuff on fire. We're going to be using the uh, slaves to do this. What did, what, what, where did he come from? Moron. Get out of there. Stops and kills every single baker along the way, obviously. It's, it's, this is so bad. Stop it! Why don't you attack from that side? No, he wants to really attack from the inside. I see. So he's going to stop there. The, the slave is going to stop and whack every single baker with a stupid torch. That's how he rolls. Oh my goodness. It is just so bad. <laughs> and then he didn't even target the building I wanted him to target. Oh my goodness. And then he died. Okay. Uh, what do we have left? I mean, what is really the purpose of doing all of this? Probably get those swordsmen. This is, by and large, just a waste of time. It has more to do with it being cool AF than anything else. Uh, but now, unfortunately, I've put myself in a position where I can't uh, can't get inside the, the city. Maybe I can set something on fire with this fire ballista. No. 
Yeah, so the fire is basically preventing me from getting in the city now. <laughs> of course. Well, of course. I've done that to myself. Overall, the siege is going quite well, though. No real complaints about that. And we took out all of the weapons workshops. We got some uh, got some slaves left to set, set some other stuff on fire, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Let's burn the cathedral down. That's going to be great. If we can ever get this thing on fire. Oh, there we go. It's on fire. Uh, hopefully that will spread over into the rest of this stuff and just light the whole city on fire. Yeah! Yeah, it's actually happening. Okay, that's great. That's what I was hoping, hoping would happen. It's just, just going to spread now. It really should be spreading faster. Hopefully it spreads faster. Uh, because hovels don't have a whole lot of health. They'll burn down relatively quickly. But yeah, 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 look at that. We got it. That's most of the city going up in flames right there. Just get some glam shots of that. I don't think there's any reason to take out that stuff over there. Oh, and it looks like the swordsman actually got uh, burnt to death by the barracks. So, um, that pretty much achieves those goals. My goodness, that cathedral is going to take a long time in coming down. Let's just advance with the ballistas here a little bit. We can target the cathedral with them to bring it down faster, rather than waiting for it to burn. Granary's almost down. Maybe if we can get, if we can bait the maceman to come out here into the fire, that would be really good. Let's see if we can do that. No, he died. Oh, a couple of them came out. Hmm. I wonder, like, what would be the best way to bait the maceman into the fire here? Get him to run out of the keep. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. And no, they actually didn't. Why aren't you guys attacking? Attack, attack, attack. Uh, they accidentally got reset to stay on the ground. And, uh, good, good grief. How did that end up telling them to attack? No! No! You idiots, no! <laughs> That's what happens when you set them to aggressive. They will attack a burning cathedral. Just something to keep in mind. Just something to keep in mind. So what I'm going to do with the last of these um, slaves is go over here and finish the rest of the city off the other side. No, no, do not. Do not kill all the swordsmen. Not yet. Not yet. Start that chapel on fire. Start that chapel on fire. And see where it goes from there. And kill the prophet. No, not really. Okay. There we go. That should spread quite nicely. Looks like there might be a hovel over here that needs personal servicing. They get out of there. Yeah, a couple of hovels here. The flames did not spread to you. Get it. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Okay. Everything's on fire. Everything will burn. Except for these two hovels over there. They're going to bother me, aren't they? Okay, never mind. Let's get the Arabian swordsman going. We'll see how this how this pans out, basically. Yeah, so we pretty much ransacked the entire city of Jerusalem right there. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Taking out those uh, those swordsmen, boy, and that's Jerusalem. So this was actually one of the longest and probably most interesting um, missions in the Saladin mini campaign. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing it. Hope you had a lot of fun watching it. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and hopefully we'll be moving on to the last, uh, well, the third mini-campaign next week. Saladin sits and speaks with a European emissary inside of his tent as the battle rages on outside. Shortly afterwards, the city surrenders unconditionally, but Saladin allows many of the Europeans to buy their freedom. The Europeans filter out of the city in two lines, one line for freedom and the other for slavery.